this half hour of our top story coverage, Red Wine's Healthy Secret. There's a way to get all the benefits without any of the alcohol. And get ready for another round in the war of words between Rosie O'Donnell and Donald Trump. The Donald is on Larry King Live at the top of the hour. Our top story in politics is part of our ongoing look at racism and intolerance in America. Lately, we've been reporting on these issues in depth. Tonight, a brand new controversy where religion and immigration and race all collide. It began when Virginia's Republican Congressman Virgil Goode fired off an angry letter about plans by the first Muslim elected to Congress, Democrat Keith Ellison of Minnesota, to use a Koran instead of a Bible at his swearing-in ceremony. Brian Todd joins us now from Virginia with the latest. Brian. John, we came down here to Virgil Goode's home district to find out if the congressman wanted to clarify his remarks in any way. He certainly did. He was not only non-repentant, he was outright defiant. Congressman Virgil Goode is proud to have the Ten Commandments on his office wall. He's not about to take back what he wrote about an incoming Muslim congressman, no matter who's offended. No, I, I do not apologize, and I do not retract my letter. The letter stands for itself. My name is Keith Ellison. I'm running for United States Congress. Hi. The letter was about incoming Democratic Congressman Keith Ellison of Minnesota, the first Muslim elected to Congress, who plans to use the Quran at his unofficial swearing-in. Responding to letters from constituents, Good wrote back, I do not subscribe to using the Quran in any way. If American citizens don't wake up and adopt the Virgil Good position on immigration, there will likely be many more Muslims elected to office and demanding the use of the Quran. When we pressed Good on whether he's against Ellison using the Quran at his swearing in, that's the call for the voters in that district in Minnesota on whom they elect. But then he got to his broader concern. I fear that in the next century we will have many more Muslims in the United States if we do not adopt strict immigration policies. Reaction is blistering, especially from Muslim groups. Uh, we were shocked to learn that uh, Congressman Good uh, hold, uh, holds these kind of views uh, against uh, Muslims uh, and immigrants in general. Uh, it's, uh, it's appalling uh, to see an elected uh, uh, official to a national office uh, uh, to, to hold such bigoted and intolerant views. And Brian Tan joins us again live from Virginia. Brian, he speaks of adopting the Virgil Good position on immigration. What is that position? Does he say no Muslims should be allowed in the United States? Uh, essentially, he, he does say that, Johnny. He falls literally just shy of it. His, his policy, as he outlined in the letter, is they want, he wants to stop illegal immigration completely and end, uh, completely reduce legal immigration and end the diversity visas policy pushed hard, he says, by President Clinton. He uh, reiterated several times in the letter and several times in the news conference that he is against letting more Muslims in the country and he is uh, very guarded about uh, more Muslims being elected to Congress, as he reiterated several times in the news conference and in his letter. And, and Brian, as you know, he clearly isn't about to apologize. In fact, he seems to be celebrating his position, which has many saying then the Republican leadership in the House of Representatives should repudiate Congressman Good. Have we heard from the leadership? That's a very good question, John. We uh, have been told by the, uh, the Council on Isla American Islamic Relations they want the Republican leadership to repudiate him. They're calling openly for it. We have made repeated phone calls today to the office of outgoing House Speaker Dennis Hastert and outgoing House Majority Leader John Boehner. Uh, repeated calls and emails to their press secretaries. We have not heard anything back yet. And we'll keep waiting for their answer. Brian Todd, thanks very much.